Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. And keeping with this whole vibe of uh, constantly giving you some variety. This will be the first time on the channel, actually, that we've done an all original car. This is a 1959 Oldsmobile 98 Rocket. And this thing is all original. The paint on this car is all original. This is gonna be a blast. I can't wait to do a walkthrough of this car. I can't wait to drive it. I get to drive it because the kid that brought it isn't old enough to drive it yet. This car has been passed down from a grandfather to a grandson. And that grandson is an adult, obviously. And he's about to pass it on to his son, Sam, who you're gonna meet in a few minutes here. Sam's a 13 year old kid that's very passionate about cars, very knowledgeable about cars. Not just modern stuff, but he actually understands and knows a lot about the old classic vehicles. I'm really looking forward to uh, doing a little walkthrough on this one. I'm totally stoked to drive this car, even though it's gonna be obvious putt-putt here. And I can't wait for you guys to meet Sam. This is gonna be a very cool episode. So sit back, hold on, because here we go. Hey guys, here we go for a ride in Sam's 59 Oldsmobile 98 Rocket. This is my buddy Sam. Hello. And this is a super cool story. So this car was owned originally by someone for two years and then your... My great grandfather. Your great grandfather bought this thing with like almost no mileage on it, right? I think it had about a thousand miles on it. Yeah. Which is pretty pretty cool. He bought it for two thousand three hundred some dollars. Right. Um <laughs> So your your grand your great grandfather buys the car, drives it. It's his regular everyday driving car, right? This yep. is what he drove. Yeah. Then Somewhere along the way, he stopped driving it, right? And it got passed down to your dad. Yeah, it got passed down to my dad uh, when he stopped driving, I think, in 97. Okay. Um, so then, so it goes from first owner, barely owns the car. Your, gra your great-grandfather ends up with it. Then your dad ends up with it. Yeah. And then when, and you're 13 and right now? 13, I'm gonna be turning 14 in December. So when you turned 16, your dad said this is your car, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna three generations of family, which is obviously, that's so rare, dude. That yeah. doesn't, that doesn't happen. And so let's talk about the, cause that's a cool story, you guys. Sam's gonna get this car in a few years. Lucky little punk. <laughs> I didn't get anything near this cool when I was 16 years old. Tell me about what this car is. I know it's a 59 Oldsmobile 98 Rocket. What's the motor in it? Uh, it's a 394 uh, cubic inch and it has 315 horsepower. 315 which, horsepower? Yeah, and um, it's, it has 435 pound-feet of torque, which is... Which is awesome. Yeah, which is really crazy. We this, were just this, talking yeah. about this, you guys. This car has more torque than the modern day GT 350R. Granted, it's like twice the size and probably twice the weight. Yeah. Um, speaking of weight, do you know how much this car weighs? Do you have any idea? Um, my great grandfather scaled it a long time ago. Yeah. Um, it came out to 5,000. <laughs> and uh, and what on, is it almost? It's got to be somewhere in the neighborhood of like 20 feet long, right? It is 20 feet long. <laughs> You guys, it's an original motor, right? This is this is the motor that came with the car. Everything about this car, almost. There's a couple of add-ons we'll yeah. get to that are pretty fun ones. But this is an original car. The paint, which you guys would never guess the color of this car. Me, I'm looking at this, right? We've already talked yeah. about this. I'm looking at it, I would call this champagne, pink champagne. No, no. Yeah, like I talked to a lot of people at car shows, they don't guess they don't guess it at all. What's the color of this car? This car is burgundy. You guys, this car is burgundy. Deal with that for a minute. We'll keep talking here. And it's the original paint on the car. This is not a repainted car. It's been re-cleared, but this is the original paint that came with this car in 1959. 
which blows me away, dude. Next I mean, gonna be six I'm years. freaking old, and this car is <laughs> considerably older than me. All right, so we got a 394 producing 315 horsepower, 435 foot pounds of torque. Um, I'd assume it's drum brakes on this car, right? These aren't discs back then. Um, yeah, drum brakes. These are drum brakes on here. Obviously, it's an automatic transmission, you guys, but check this out. I love this about this. I think it's so interesting is typically the gear pattern, right, is park, your next one down is reverse, then neutral, then drive, and then if it gives you option for your lower gears. This one, you guys, goes park, then neutral, then drive, then S, which I'm guessing slow. slow. Uh, it's no, for mountains. Slow, okay. Then what's L for? Is I that low? I, there's the slow S and, and low? S, S and L is um, slow, and, slow and low. Slow and low, okay. Which, which is a weird Interesting. that they call it that. But, but then what's a trip to me is that reverse is all the way down. Yeah. I've never ever been in a car where reverse was all the way at the end of the yeah, gear I never, pattern. I've never which seen is, that either. You know, you think about it, in 1959, a lot of what's on here was was really modern technology, right? Like yep. this foot pedal down here trips me out. So you guys, you guys know, you've seen old cars, right? Where you got your pedal on the floor that that, that that's your for your high beams and low beams, right? But this one's got a pedal right next to it that changes the station on the radio. Yep. That's like hands-free radio in 1959. Are you kidding me? Um, and this is one of the most high-tech cars at the time. Like it has power windows, power brakes, power yeah. steering. Yeah. Yep. Po power everything. Like power everything. And in 1959, yeah. that wasn't happening. I mean, it, it was a that was a serious upgrade to have that going yeah. on. Do you know how this works? Yeah. Um, turn the knob. It's called the Sentinel. Um, Sentinel. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So, yeah. So turn it. Turn it that way. Yeah. Now. Uh, All right, you guys. So there's this thing called the Sentinel knob. It's a uh, manual and I'm dialing it down. It's gonna buzz when I go over what the set speed is. There it is. <laughs> Check it out. So it's gonna tell me when I go over 40 miles an hour, right? Yep. There it is. <laughs> You've exceeded the maximum speed allowed, sir. We're pulling you over. <laughs> Nowadays, it's an antiquated piece of technology, but in 1959, I'll bet there was a lot of people going, wow, I'm glad I got that reminder there, man. I was about to go 40 miles an hour on the freeway. God, this car drives so nice. Yeah, it's actually, it, it feels like you're on air. Like, I mean, it's just like this floaty. Yeah, hit the gas. Uh, I mean, it, it'll just go. Really? Great. I mean, obviously, yeah. it's not. I'm not going to stand on it, dude. This yeah. is soon to be your car, but, <laughs> you know. But now there's a couple things on here that aren't original, you guys. Check it out. See if we can hear some of the sounds that this car will make for us. So what's this one? That's a little yes. bit. Let's see. This one? It's the... Wow, that's a gnarly horn. Yeah, it's a re like a regular car horn, which is funny. And then the siren one, but that one's jacked right now. Yeah, it kind of broke for. Some it makes reason. a it makes a siren, but we're not going to be. <laughs> the guy behind me is freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> and the steering wheel is. I mean, I love this like this insert piece here. Yeah. Dude, the the design stuff on this car, I'm really obviously tripping out because it's my first time. I've never been in a in this car before. Yeah. Actually, I don't you're know. you're actually sitting on a seat that only five people have been on. The interior on this thing's gorgeous. I mean, it really is. I, you can tell. Now, you guys, this isn't the original. It's exactly as it was on the original car, but this isn't the actual original interior. You guys did do a, a restoration of the it's, interior. It has been changed. We changed it. We have a good upholstery guy, and he, he did it well. Did yeah. It well. No, it looks beautiful, dude. I mean, this car... This car is just gorgeous. I mean, you're, dude, you're so lucky that you're getting this car at 16 years old. You're wow. getting an all original, friggin' classic, total collectible <laughs> car. So um, tell me some of the other things you think are unique on this car. Um, a lot of my, a lot of things that my great grandfather added. Um, he added a compass right here. Um, right. Which is actually supposed to be a smoking thing. That's an ashtray. Yeah, ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> and then you actually have a lighter here. Oh yeah, so, oh yeah, the old school cigarette lighter, of yeah. course. And what also is very unique, um, I'm gonna show you right now. 
electric antenna. Yeah. I love that you brought this car over because you, you know it's it's very different for us, and I think I think for people watching, I think they appreciate the variety, you know, and yeah. and and this is a unique one, dude. A '59 all original. Oh my god, this thing's huge. Yeah. You can. Uh, this is gonna sharpen your driving skills, by the way. When yeah. you when yeah, you start right. off driving this big old boat. Man, you get in a small little car, you're gonna feel like, oh my God, this thing's tiny. You think about it back in this day though, right? Like looking at this car, everything's big. The steering wheel's gigantic, you know, yep. the the fenders, the hood, this back window. Yeah. Dude, it looks I mean, like, I mean, breaks, from the outside, it looks like a fishbowl in here, yeah. you know? Uh, they, call, they call this the bubble dome, and it's a lot, very few cars were made with the bubble dome. And that the glass bends at the, at yeah, the that's, like it does. I look, I look at it and it's like, why is that car bent? Like it's, but it's, it's a trip funny. looking in the rear view. I mean, this is, a, you know, for you, obviously you don't drive yet, dude, but I, I spend a lot of time looking in the rear view mirror to see if there's a cop behind me, you know? <laughs> it's crazy looking in this rear view mirror. I keep looking to see where the pillar's at. I mean, it's it's all glass back there. Like yeah. your, your B pillar is so far forward from it. This would be the ultimate drive-in movie car. Cause do you know what a drive-in movie theater is? Yeah. You drive in, you know, a big yeah. screen, right? And usually you paid, how you paid was by the car. Yeah. You got one person, you got 40 people in the car. It's the same <laughs> fee. So the bigger the car was, the better the deal was at the movie. <laughs> You guys met Sam. You didn't meet his dad, John. So Hello. this is the team right here, man. <laughs> How cool. Well, that's it for uh, this beautiful 59 Oldsmobile 98 Rocket. I'm still blown away that this is an all original car, especially the paint. I mean, it, you just don't see this. You know what I mean? You just don't see it that often. Typically we're getting fired up about all original cars, but the paint's very patinaed. And it's cool because it's original, but it looks like crap. This car looks amazing. I mean, I, I'm just totally blown away by this being an all original car. I love how it's been passed down from a grandfather to his grandson, and now the grandson passing it on to his son, Sam, in the next few years. I mean, this kid is gonna get this as his first car. I'd be losing my mind if this was my first car. I mean, really, like, this is just such a cool one and such a great story. So that's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Keeping with the theme, showing you a bunch of variety. And uh, thanks as always, man, for hanging, for watching and supporting the channel. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. All right, man, later.